Welcome back, lesson 10, area and perimeter using fractions. Before we go any further, please look at the learning goal and the rubric and please rate yourself, are you a four, a three, a two, or a one, and circle it before we move on. Remember, area is the amount of space inside of an object. Area is equal to the length times the width. Perimeter is the amount of space on the edge of a flat object. When we find perimeter, we add the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. So let's try this. I have a rectangle that is three by one eighth, eighth. And we're going to say that it's in inches. Okay, to find the area, I would do three times one eighth. That would be equal to three eighths of an inch would be the area. Actually, it'd be square inches, right? Because it's area. All right, and perimeter is equal to length plus width plus length plus width. That is equal to three plus one eighth plus three plus one eighth. All right, three plus three is six. One eighth plus one eighth is two eighths. So if I put those together, my perimeter would be six and two eighths of an inch. All right? Now, let's do another one before I give you homework. Let's do a long rectangle. Let's do two by three fourths. So, in this rectangle, the area would be equal to two times three fourths, which is equal to two times three is six. The denominator stays the same. And then six fourths, if you decompose it, four fourths makes a whole, and you have two more fourths. So that's equal to one and two fourths. In simplest form, that would be one and one half, okay? Perimeter, that is equal to length plus width plus length plus width. So three fourths plus two plus three fourths plus two. Two and two is four. 3 fourths and 3 fourths is 6 fourths. So I have 6 fourths plus 4, 4 and 6 fourths. Now we need to make this improper fraction a mix, or this improper fraction part of our mixed number. So you'd have 4 fourths and 2 more fourths. So you'd have 4, 5, because 4 fourths is one whole, and 2 more fourths. All right? So that would be how you would find the perimeter, all right? This is a quick video for homework. Here's what I'd like you to solve. Find the area and perimeter of these two shapes, all right? And that one should be really easy because we just did it. But I want you to practice it again, all right? We'll see you tomorrow.